Ooh, girl, this the one right here. So the wife bust the husband out in front of the family for cheating. And girl, she got everything. Deceits, proof, timeline, screenshots, f***ing everything. The man was so nervous, I swear you could hear his heart beating outside of his chest. So she had me nervous and I ain't even do nothing. But hold on, why the side chick hop online to tell her side of the story? <gasps> Are you serious? Girl, yes. Let's get into this. The reasons I call all your hair is because I have some news for you. Terrence didn't tell her you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is extra. I got news. I'm not the mommy. What? Your boy what? Did you catch it? She said, did Terrence tell you he's going to be a daddy again? And the man said, oh, that's extravagant news. So the wife said, oh, but I'm not going to be the mommy. Terrence, didn't tell you you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is extravagant news. I'm not the mommy. What? Your boy what? I just wanted to tell everybody in person and to clear the air. I didn't want nobody to think that I keep in secret so I hide in things or anything like that. I just he didn't even know. He this is shock to him. That I know everything. You talking about? Don't ask me what I'm talking about. Who is Shania Shah? What position? You want to tell your father and them that she's pregnant? Oh. Terrence, you was just by she a little while ago and you went to drop a clear blue. I have videos of your vehicle being there. I have pictures of the pregnancy test. I have videos of you and she having sex in a hotel. I have everything. I have everything. An anonymous informer notified me of everything going on i have pictures i have messages i have videos i have pictures of the pregnancy test i know all is going live in a bar in felicity with she family i know she have a two-year-old child i know she's a little girl she's only 23 years old i know where she living i know you just go there and play with your son i know she calling my son papa and thing and i know I also know that when you drop me and mommy in the airport to go to Barbados, you carry my child by her house. My son by her house. I know everything. I know when you say you're working late, you're not working late. You're in a hotel with Chida why you never have no money. You're always running in the ATM because you had to pay for hotel. I know she's lying with all, all your police partners and them. I know everything, Terrence. I know everything and I have the proof. So this is not assumptions. I have hard evidence to prove everything. And I know that a couple months ago when you had something on your neck and I asked you what it is, you tell me how that the MP5 strap. And I know you tell she that you tell me is an MP5 strap and I believe it. And I know it was a hickey. And I'm pretty sure it have others because the name when I see the message last two weeks ago when Tristan had my phone is a different name. So maybe it have other women too. I don't know. Maybe it's just for them. I know but the one that I have proof, hard, cold evidence about. Everything I have it. I have everything. I don't know how you're going to deny it. There's nothing to deny. And I know you tell she that you're going to find some way to work around it since she's pregnant. And she's a little girl. She's 23 years old. I know you know all she family is going by she house. I know everything. She living in like a kind of little shack. Not even a good house. But you are too happy. You don't pay a bill in this house. You don't make groceries. The only thing you just do is go pennywise and buy pampas with the child. You don't wash your clothes. You don't, you don't give me no money. Not that I need no money. 
nothing but you're too happy i home here like a damn fool every day taking care of my child doing whatever i had to do for you look the other night when tristan get up and he started vomit and he was working in the night and call me in the middle of the night to go and do your laundry because you had to go to court and get up and do it i had to stop the laundry because the child after he vomit he get trouble to go back to sleep for over two hours i still make sure and get it done by the time you come home i know when you say you're working extra hours you're not i know everything i know you had sex with you last week thursday night i know everything terence and all this line felicity in a kind of run down bar so people there won't really know you i know your police partner and them know i know back and know i call the names i tell them all i know it's everything terence everything and just last week friday you watch me in my face and say you never step out on your marriage and that the message i see is that it's just a stupid message it could never be never 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 be a stupid message but i bide my time i bide my time till the lord i pray about this just last night you know the lord send that anonymous person to contact me this morning to tell me everything just last night i wouldn't lie for that and i get to find out everything because i couldn't come and accuse you without proof and now i have everything and you have this little girl pregnant she's 10 years younger than you terence she's a little girl boy and she have a child already and you go there and play with your two-year-old son no you want to know how she meet uncle mali she going in the station to make a report because the child father abusive towards she and she started to communicate with he it's three months now they ain't thing but they know each other since last year oh she got the nook of leaving with his clothes in a trash bag child i don't know if i want to cry or clap for her after watching this I mean, he was stuck in the moment, but auntie, girl, auntie ready to get on the phone and tell everybody the tea. And mind you, he the police playing Captain save a -ho. Girl, let's get into the side chick's version of the story. Okay, so let me just put this out there, right? I wasn't going to address this, but it needs to be addressed, especially from my side. Because apparently this woman thought that it was a very smart idea that when she was confronting her husband to record it and also call my whole government name, right? Um, I, I am, hmm. it is an unfortunate situation. A family is broken now because of a man's poor choice. He, I was convinced, along with my friends and some of my family, that this man is single and that he has nothing to do with his wife, only with his son, about his son, nothing else, right? When he told me and my friends and my family that, we were like, yeah, all right, bullshit. Until he started to prove himself in this type of way where he would be calling right through, messaging right through, coming and checking me. If he not in work, talking to me, he would think we would be going out together, not just in Felicity. And I don't know what Rundong Bashi talking about, but not just in Felicity, many other places that is big ba clubs all over, <laughs> all over. We were completely public about this whole thing right so all this had me you know okay if a man have someone he wouldn't be doing these things he even bought his son to meet me so all that was like well you know okay all right he's single you know this might have a chance of going somewhere 
not knowing I would be getting a call from Mrs. Ramsarup. And she would be telling me that she knows my name, she got my number, she has my picture, and she wants to know what it is going on and she needs confirmation moving forward with her family. So I want to know now what the hell if you is the ex-wife why are you intervening yourself in your ex-husband personal life and she's like ex-wife ex-husband no 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 and she told me up front and she showed me that they were still together and what was going on and apparently it had other women it had other messages that she had seen with other women that is what started raising her suspicion and then someone messaged her about me and told her about me so i know this man tell me he have nothing to do with his wife so obviously i was like what kind of back analysis you trying to make because you know he 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 does be with me right through you know i am um, so confused i i don't know how to react to the situation because it is so hurtful to see the situation he put her in the situation he put himself his child and the situation he put me in as well right it upsetting it it just horrible and another thing too i am not pregnant i don't know where that should come out from i am not pregnant so a lot of things that were said in that video is not true and i just thought i, I needed to come and clear the air about this because it's not making any sense at all to a point where people coming at me and saying that I's a homewrecker and I's a hoe and all this kind of thing. You don't know what it is going on, but you're talking. I know it have a lot of females out there that have zero respect for people marriage and zero respect for other women and their relationships, but I am definitely not one of them. I had a situation with my child father and that whole thing, I would never see myself doing that to another woman. And this mm -mm, is not me, it's not me, it's I, I. <sighs> right, I did not expect to be in this position, I did expect to have to be explaining myself at five o'clock in the morning to 300 and 300 and something people they came off facebook and thing however they that was their decision i however I am not going to back out of it. I am not going to let people talk about me and say that I'm a homewrecker and all these kind of nasty shit. I have a voice and I will use it. Also, well, full stop. Why he never carry you home? And as I say, I know him for like almost two years now. And... Uh, we started talking and going around each other for three months now. We slept with it. I mean, very nice. We slept with each other like two, two times, three times, a couple, a couple of times, and um, which is not anybody's business. But I've been through a traumatic relationship with my child father, and I was not looking for a relationship. I was not looking for any kind of serious kind of thing with anybody and I was in hurry to meet nobody parents he was in hurry to meet my parents but he met them because he working could appear I live in enterprise so he's ready ready 
and he gets to meet them through that. And when his wife, Soko, left for vacation, he brought his son to meet me. I told, I did not know that he had to wait for she to leave and go for vacation, then to come and bring the child to meet me. So I, I never really take it on like, you know, well, okay, it's only three months now we're going around and this man I carried me home yet and what is this about? No, the fuck no. Come on, we're in 2024. Right, I like this person, you know. Hold on, now. what your child father got to do with being a homewrecker and breaking someone's marriage? Well, I'm going to tell you something, right, darling? My child father put me through a lot. And the point I was trying to make is that my child father put me through a lot. He was honing me while I was pregnant with my son. And I found out about it for my son's 60s. Plenty and then people know what it is. Where's the big deal about a six days? Right? Instead of my child father being there for me and his son, he was with the hoe for the six days. And I get to find out about it. I ended up back in hospital. I was going through real shit. And I would not put another female through that. It could be, however, long get together or what I would never put another female through that I better than freaking that I will not I am not the first and I will not be the last the only reason why this situation getting so much attention is because he's a police and well Who bust the file? I don't know, but whoever it is, they give the wife some good information. Woo, that was some real Caribbean Long Island iced tea. Now, Terrence, Mr. Policeman, you out here causing all this drama and creating broken families. What do you have to say for yourself? Wasn't me. I, wasn't me. Wasn't me. Nah, Mr. Boombastic, that was you. Now, I have a question. Who told her all this information? Child, now you know he a police, but damn, she got me wondering, is she some type of detective, child? Are you a private investigator? I mean, she had pictures, video evidence. Then it make me wonder, did the side chick tell her all this? Girl, this too much. One thing that man did know was to exercise his right to remain silent. Child, he didn't have nothing to say. Make a psycho, make a traffic psycho.